coming back a little bit to the butterfly and I give you some extensions to the butterfly. It's more an example of what you would maybe um, like to see if you want to learn what you should do and what you shouldn't do. So imagine I make the butterfly a little bit bigger, right? So you have still one source, two destinations and you just send the packets. And imagine I, I introduced this encoding vector. Why not just always code everything together? So here you see an example where you get two intermediate nodes, they both get the same input, they code the same thing together, give it to the next node and suddenly this will be zero. If you get twice the same input, you XOR it, it's zero. So just doing that is not a good idea. You know that because I showed you with the example of the rank that you need a certain rank of your matrix, you would not never do that, right? You could of course now find out if you have the same input, then make a routing decision, right? It's better, but it's not what we really want. Now, here's another one. So you get three packets out of the, the source, still two destinations, and now you get A and C here. So what are the different uh, packets that go here? You know now that as long as the rank is of three, then it's decodable on both sides. And they can make, um, they have to make the same decision over here. Then you can maybe say, okay, he can go send out B because nobody has B, and then a code a packet over everything. That's an easy one. But what about this one now? So you have two intermediate nodes. They all get this. Um, they get input nodes. A, B, C, also here, A, B, C, and they can code nearly everything, giving only one packet here. And then they will give, do something here. What is a good choice? I told you, if this is B, what, what are the combinations that they can do here? There are also many again, right? So if this is B, then you can uh, code all of them here. At least you have to code A and C into that somehow. Um, if you have A on the other side, it could be also that you um, just send B here and only A and C here. But there, you, are only, you can, could do the same what we did before. Now you have six coding coefficients. If you understand that, we will do this in the exercise and finding the right values for C1 to T C6. And many of them are possible, of course. But why we come up with this example? In order to make the right decision what you code here together, we looked at this from the top, right? And said, okay, let's look into this. What is really possible here? But we know the topology. We know also what, ha what happened here. In the end, there are certain questions. So this intermediate notes will say, first you have to ask your neighbor, what will you send? So you should not send the same what the other send, that we have learned before, right? But you also have to know what is already floating around us to the end nodes, what they have already, right? And then what should we, what they, did they send to the others? What did you receive? That are all the questions that you have to know from the topology. And if you look at this example, we say these are deterministic network codes and the advantage is clear, right? The coding coefficients, they are known, you don't need to put them in the encoding vector anymore. You just see it and you put the encoding vector there, everything is fine. The drawbacks is if something will change, you have to change also the coding coefficients. And the first time we read about network coding and the XOR butterfly, we said, okay, that's nice for wired networks, but for our wireless networks, like the mesh that you have seen before with the drones flying, I said, how can you understand the topology? The internet is fully distributed so fi finding the, the, um, these coefficients and distributing them will eat up also capacity. Will, uh, it will need time. It's inefficient in the time we are not knowing about this. So this frequent updates is not good anymore. And you will see that especially this deterministic one, this is the one we got, one would like to get rid of and replace it with something that is more random. And random helps here. Okay, you will see this later.